Denver. It's your uh, mom and dad. I, I know we uh, had some words the other night, but we wanted to let you know if you change your mind about things and, and want to come home, you're always welcome here. Did you tell him the school said it's not too late to enroll for next semester? Yeah, I, I don't know if you heard your mom, but she said it's, it's not too late to get into school. I, anyway, let us know if you want to talk. In, in the meantime, be safe out there. Hey, it's your mom. We got the check you sent last week. Thank you. I was kind of hoping there'd be a letter from you or at least a return address so we could send you something. Um, I guess you're not ready for that. Um, either way, we appreciate you paying us back for what you spent in Calgary. Uh, you must be doing okay to be able to do that. I guess that's good. Um, anyway, we're here if you ever want to talk. Okay? Okay, bye now. Love you. Well, pretty soon we're gonna have an empty arena match. <laughs> with an empty arena match, or in this case, an empty stadium, which is only about 30 fans shy of a typical Memphis Sliders game. Jerry the King Lawler has had some of the most famous empty arena matches in history. This probably won't be one of them. You know, I just realized something. If the stadium is empty, who am I even talking to? That's weird, man. Lawler won't be able to rely on the home crowd advantage this time around. But if you ask me, I don't think you'll need it. It's so quiet here without a crowd that you can hear the scurrying about of the concession stand rats. Now just a reminder, the Sliders are on the road. We'll be back for a six-game homestand next week. So come on out and support the home team. Or the away team. Just get your butt here and spend some money, okay? I have two 27-year-old man children to feed, and this franchise is dying quicker than the house fly. One heck 
of a bonus match we're getting here tonight, folks. It just proves you never know what you're going to see at Memphis Slider Stadium. Like that one crazy stunt where they had monkey umpires for a game? I still think they did a better job than the real ones. You know, it's not often we get a Hall of Famer competing here at the stadium. Although there was that one time minor league Hall of Famer Turk Spitball Sampson pitched at the age of 93. He had to be removed from the field by security on account of the escape from his nursing home. But still, what a memorable night. here reminding you that tonight's wrestling event is brought to you by our sponsor Bobby Joe's Dog Board. If we lose your dog, the next one's on us. Wrestling has a long history of holding major events in baseball stadiums, including several WrestleManias and, of course, tonight's show. This match has the potential to go extra innings, but hopefully not, because I'm not sure how long the sliders can afford to keep the lights on. Red and I ended up having a good run in Memphis, but eventually we wanted to check out some of the other indie hotspots around the country. And after a year or so of bouncing around, we made a name for ourselves in LA, where the indie scene was really taking off. That's it. I'm leaving without you. You can't do that. We're a package deal, remember? Besides, look who's headed our way. Mm, great. I was wondering if she'd show up. Relax. I'm not here to start anything, so don't get your collective skivvies in a bunch. This is the one day to put any past differences aside and honor your achievements, so congratulations. You've earned everything that's coming to you tonight. What was that? Maybe she has a conscience after all. I seriously doubt that. Forget her. Let's get back to your story. I think L.A. was where I first saw you two wrestle in person. Remember? We ended up having that series of matches against each other. How could I forget? It led to one of the most embarrassing nights of my career. We'd battled each other in just about every type of match, except for one that also happened to be on the list. Wrestle in a crybaby match. And since you had the first and only crybaby match with Razor Ramon back in the day, 
this was the perfect time to cross it off. seen that before. Sorry I put your friend in a diaper. There was no way I was going to let that happen to me again. Maybe it'll teach him to stop putting ridiculous things on our list, but probably not. Hey, 
This isn't public knowledge yet, so keep it on the DL. The WWE is going to be holding an all-women's tournament later this year. That's amazing. Yeah, they're calling it the Mae Young Classic. Triple H asked me to keep an eye out for talent, so I'll be watching your match tonight against Candice LeRae. Don't hold back. I never do. Oh, oh, this stuff's all in my eyes. I can't see. I think I'm going blind. I don't know why he's so cranky. I fed him and changed his diaper. <laughs> Any chance he can babysit during my match? collapse crane situation it still sucks both sides of the 405 remain closed if you don't live nearby in the valley you might as well sleep in your car if it hasn't been broken into Not so friendly reminder, there is no smoking allowed in the building. If we get fined, you pay it. Plus it's gross. And the answer is no. This isn't a baseball game, people.
We've been informed that a guy here has lost his wedding ring. If you find it, please turn it in or just pawn it. I don't care. Look, you two are great, so I wish I could recommend you both for the Mae Young Classic, but Hunter said they're only looking to fill one spot right now. You're really milking this decision. <laughs> Get it? Because the crybaby match earlier? I've been hanging out with Trey too much. Please, continue. I'm gonna have to recommend Candace. She's been doing this for over 15 years. Red, you've got a ton of potential, but you don't have anywhere near that kind of experience. Yeah, totally. I get it. Thank you so much for this opportunity. I'm sure we'll see each other again in the future. Like he said, I've been doing this a really long time, and you're one of the best I've ever seen. And you're only gonna get better. I appreciate that. Uh, I gotta go call my husband and tell him the good news. No guarantees, but I'll definitely keep you in mind if WWE ends up doing this tournament again. Give me your contact info before you leave tonight, okay? I will. Thanks. Hey, I overheard what Xbox said. This is just a bump in the road. And tonight wasn't a total loss. At least I get to cross off wrestle in a crybaby match. Give me that. Ugh, it smells like butt sweat. I told you not to keep the list in your tights. Cost of doing business. Win May Young Classic Tournament. See if you can air that out. As our indie journey continued over the next couple of years, we got to have matches in a lot of cool places. But the one that stood out most was when we got to do a special show back in our hometown. You've got to be kidding me. And we thought her head couldn't get any bigger. You know what? I'm not going to let a stupid sign ruin this for us. Let's go. This was our chance to show our friends and family just how far we had come. Well, at least our friends.
So what happens if your parents show up tonight? First of all, as far as I'm concerned, they're not even really my parents anymore. But if they did show up, then security can deal with it. I'm not gonna let anyone pick and choose when they want to have my back, especially now that I'm having a little bit of success. But you haven't talked to them since Calgary, which was like four years ago. Maybe it's time you give them another chance. Another chance to tell me I'm wasting my life and that I'm never gonna make it? Sorry, I don't need that. Besides, I paid them back their money, so the way I see it, we have nothing to discuss. Hey, hey. I'm not shelling out an extra 20 bucks so you two can have a therapy session. I handed her the wrench, if that counts. Also, were you listening to our entire conversation? Hey, I get it. We've all got drama in our lives. I mean, look at me. Last year, I put on a mask and attacked my former protege, Buzz, costing him a shot at WWE. Then he wouldn't return my phone calls or texts for like a year. No one wanted to work with me, and BCW folded. But... Then I stuck up for Buzz to AJ Styles. And the next thing you know, I'm in Buzz's corner at WrestleMania, and now I'm in the process of rebuilding BCW. That's a lot of very specific information. Yeah. What's your point? My point is, I turn chicken crap into chicken salad. And that's what I can do for you two if you sign ex. Exclusive deals with me and become cornerstones of the new BCW. <laughs> um, no thanks. Yeah, yeah, we're good. Your loss, <laughs> because FYI, I am this close to getting Cole Quinn on board. <laughs> Big things are happening. Hey, speak of the handsome devil. Let's go talk numbers, shall we? I th 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 slow your roll, Greeny. <laughs> this guy. I feel like we really dodged a bullet there. More like a cannonball. That guy's a total nightmare. And here comes another one. What is she doing here? Holy crap, is that hothead Red and Trey? You two picking up some extra work to make your trailer payments? Or is this some kind of prison work release program? It's just Red now. And we're wrestling tonight. And also, we don't live in trailers. We stay in hotel rooms that have microwaves, which seemed a lot more impressive before I said it. Wait, you actually became pro wrestlers? <laughs> and I get to see your uncoordinated bodies flop around this ring tonight? <laughs> She's got good lungs. Of course I do. I'm an elite MMA competitor. If you haven't heard, the American hero Brooklyn Von Braun is undefeated. More like American Zero. What's that? Nothing. You realize Kurt Angle's already known as the American hero, right? You probably should ask him for permission to use his nickname like Ronda Rousey did with Rowdy Roddy Piper. Kurt Ankle? Never heard of him. If anything, he should ask me permission to use my name since I'm way more famous. I'll chat with my lawyer about it. Thanks for the heads up. Why are you here? You're obviously not a pro wrestling fan. No. Gross. There's a ceremony after your stupid show to rename the gym in my honor. The town sign wasn't enough? It wasn't. I actually wanted it bigger. Couldn't you have picked any other night to do this? Do you think I chose to share my special night with a professional wrestling event? That'd be like eating a giant bowl of turd soup before having the best steak of your life. I have a loaded schedule and tonight was my only avail. How much longer would it have taken to say availability? I told you, I'm busy. Every second counts. I've already wasted way too much time talking to you, Carnies. I'll have you know, we've wrestled at several carnivals and their employees are some of the finest people around. Other than that tilt-a-whirl operator who bit me when I asked him what time it was. There's always exceptions. Cool story. Looking forward to seeing you tap again tonight, Red. You know, just like old times. Whoa, 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 whoa. You could kill someone with that. I know, that's the point. Don't let her get under your skin and ruin our night. We'll do our thing, and then she can do her stupid gym dedication. It'll be totally separate. I'm sure we won't even notice her.
a scoop for you. I'm currently in negotiations with Cole Quinn to sign a long-term exclusive deal with BCW. In fact, I bet he'll sign on the dotted line right after this match.
tonight for this match. Commence the flopping of uncoordinated bodies. and just listens to the sweet sound of my voice. I promise the misery will soon be over. A gym full of people all staring at Red saying, what are those moves? Hey, if you want to keep running your mouth, then come over here and do it to my face. Excuse me for trying to entertain these people, because you certainly weren't. Red acts so tough, but the moment you get her in a submission hold, she gives up immediately. In fact, she's been tapped more than shoulders. <laughs> It's finally over. And best of all, Red lost, just like I knew she would. Now we can move on to the real reason everyone's here. The renaming of the gym, in my honor. Being in this gym brings back so many memories. I won my first amateur match here. I broke barriers and records here as the captain of the otherwise all-male wrestling team. I qualified for states here. I dominated gym class dodgeball here. I won prom and homecoming queen here. I once saved Mr. Durkis from choking on a hot dog here. The banner actually isn't that bad. I was expecting something more obnoxious. I know, me too. So that's why it's my pleasure to officially christen this the Brooklyn Von Braun Gymnasium for Athletic Excellence. Isn't it amazing? I want to thank the school board for cutting the music program to help fund this. Totally worth it. I'm confused. Did she go to space before or after she was Pope? I think I'm going to throw up. Aim towards the mural if you can. <laughs> I can't believe we got totally upstaged and embarrassed by Brooklyn. Not much has changed. I know! We've come a long way, but it still feels like we're the same losers who used to sit at this table back in high school. At least my parents didn't show up and make a scene. Hey, I was thinking, maybe I should try to track down my real parents. They sent that letter back in high school, so maybe there's still hope with them. I, I've actually been meaning to talk to you about that letter. What about it? Sorry. 
Um, anyway. Uh, it's an Orlando number. Take it. Hello? Hi, Sarah. Yeah, it's a good time to talk. It's Sarah Amato from NXT. Oh. I got your number from Xbox. He saw you on a show in LA a couple years ago and said you were great. Oh, yeah, that was the same night he put my friend in a diaper. What? Never mind, had to be there. Anyways, the reason I'm calling is to see if you'd like to compete in the third annual May Young Classic. What? Hello? Um, I'm here, and I'm in for the May Young Classic. Yes. <laughs> Great, we'll be in touch soon with travel arrangements, and congratulations. Being included in this tournament is a huge accomplishment. Thank you. <laughs> we'll talk soon. Bye. Bye. Oh, <laughs> are you serious? Maybe this night wasn't so bad after I all. I know. After I missed out on the first May Young Classic and then didn't hear anything last year, I thought I'd never get another shot. But it's happening, <laughs> and I'm not going to settle for just being included. I'm going to win the whole damn thing. Oh, I know you will. <laughs> we should celebrate. By throwing rocks at Brooklyn's stupid face. That might be a bit extreme. I mean, what size rocks are we talking? I meant her face on the sign coming into town. Oh. Yeah, yeah, that seems slightly more reasonable. Hey, hey, what did you want to tell me about the letter? Oh. Um. Never mind. It's not important. Besides, there's a sign that needs vandalizing, remember? True. I'll go round up some good throwing rocks. That's a great idea. I'll meet you at the car in a minute. Cool. Whoa, that's a shock. He's always wanted to meet his birth parents, and now that we know what happened, what are we going to say when he asks about them? I, I really don't think he can handle the, the truth, that they're dead. Do you? No. No, it would crush him. But what's the alternative, honey? Just let him believe they're still out there somewhere and they don't care enough to ever contact him? I, I, I don't know. I, I wish there was a way to keep his hope alive, but not hurt him. <sighs> Me too. You've probably asked yourself a million times, why? Why didn't they want to be my parents? The truth is, we did. But we had to make the hardest decision of our lives because we didn't feel we could give you the life you deserved. And that life is one where you can have the freedom to follow your dreams, no matter what they might be. To become anything you want. We'll find you someday. Love always, Mom and Dad. Please, don't tell him our secret about the letter. It's not going to help anything. Hey, you coming or what? Yeah, sorry. Let's do this! Take that! Oh, nice! Yeah! <laughs> Take that, Brooklyn! Boom!